me, your favorite messy hair YouTuber, and today we're checking out some safety TikToks that could save your life. Have you ever been scared of a really creepy guy? Here's how to get him to leave you alone. Start coughing really loudly. Nobody likes a sick person, especially I've right now. I've done this, I've <coughs> done this. And I think it worked. Like this was obviously before COVID. Some dude started following me and then I was just like, I'm <coughs> sick, you don't want what I got. He was like, never mind. This is just a whole overall people deterrent. I don't know if a lot of people know about this. Here's how to get secret access to your apartment. No way. No way. And then somebody else tried it and then... What? If you live in an apartment, check your locks right now. So apparently there is a secret lock that the landlord or whoever got an extra key can just bust into your apartment at any time. This has got to be a cap where I am scared. I've been seeing this all over TikTok. Self-defense tools that every girl needs. First up, we got the pepper spray, of course. Ooh, it's orange. Is it basically chili pepper spray? We got a door opener, a personal alarm slash LED light, a window breaker, Comb. <gasps> that ain't no comb. That's a shank. The lipstick too? And I was like, that's a normal pen in it. No. Y'all thought I was gonna write down my number, but the next thing you know, you're getting stabbed. <laughs> if you find yourself face to face with a mountain lion, here's how to survive. With a mountain lion, very random, but I mean, if you are ever in this situation, don't turn your back to it or run away. That will make you look like prey. Instead, make constant eye contact, make yourself appear as large as possible, and make a lot of noise. Me face to face with a mountain lion. I've heard this so many times. When you face to face with an animal, like you have to make yourself look big, make yourself loud, assert your dominance. But what if it doesn't work? What if they just attack anyway? Like I, I can take you. You ain't nothing. I, I see right through your tricks. Human hook. So this is the GFTO bracelet. It comes with a handcuff key and it comes with a tungsten bead. If you're ever in a, in a scenario where you have to break your window glass, the side or the back window, this is what you're gonna use. You're gonna a spread bracelet it out like this. indeed even Thanos is jealous what if you're like wearing it while you're making a TikTok and accidentally like break a window or is it in the force of the flick either way very cool WTF is this a joke someone better not get kidnapped so what you see on her car handle right there is wire now it can come in all different forms but the reason people use wire is because it will distract you for longer it takes you a long time to get it off and even if you had wire cutters it'd still take you a minute if you ever see this on your car do not approach your car alone so they wrap wire around their car handle so like you see it and you're gonna like stand in the parking lot and like try to take it off don't do that i've been seeing these all over tiktoks like people will leave like a rose on their windshield and you'll be like oh a secret admirer no it's a secret kidnapper at this point if you walk out to the parking lot you see anything on your car bro don't approach it go back to where you came from try to get somebody the more people the better to walk you to your car we ain't taking no chances here's a safety tip for all my truck drivers when you're sleeping somewhere that's kind of not safe or really sketchy like this get your seatbelt, put it in through here and then buckle it in to here it should look like this this trick right here will not let anyone open the door from the outside like I said, this trick is perfect for when you're sleeping somewhere sketchy or somewhere that's really not safe at all. Truck drivers, wait, they ain't the predators. So this works with a lot of cars. You take your seatbelt, wrap it around the handle, and then plug that bad boy in. Extra safety. You don't have to be a truck driver just if you're in a sketchy place. Anywhere, sleeping in your car, good trick. So this year for Christmas, uh, my parents got me this. And what it is, is it's a bracelet and it's called Invisiware. So basically you can put this bracelet on and if you, it has a button on the back and if you press it twice, then it will, like if you're in a bad situation, you can press the button twice and it will notify the police and your emergency contacts that something's happened to you. They got safety bracelets, but also scrunchies. So if you're in a bad situation, you can literally press the button on your scrunchie. Oh, call the cops, alert your emergency contact. What kind of technology is this? Send your GPS location. Nah, this a government tracker. Kidnappers taking notes right now. Don't kidnap girls with scrunchies. Tips when you're traveling. Go in front of every mirror and put one finger in front of it. If there is a gap, you're good to go. If not, two-way mirror, you need to get another room. This is one of your biggest security risks. This really doesn't do shit. And then this can also be open from the outside. You're gonna grab one of these. You're gonna jam it all the way in because then the door can't be opened from the outside. Make the room completely dark. Then you're gonna turn on your camera and see 
if there is any lights going on around any air vent. If there is a little light on, that means that there is a camera hidden somewhere. These are all very good tips. I am so scared of that. Like every fitting room I go into, any hotel, I'm always checking the mirror. If it's got a gap, you're good to go. Number one safety tip of all time, lock your door. In the car, lock the door first. At home, lock all of your doors. Make sure they're always locked. I get her, like I am paranoid. As soon as I get in my car, I lock. As soon as I get in my house, I lock. Every night, check all the locks, check all the windows. I know it's very tedious. <clears throat> what are you doing? Oh, I see, you done bumped your head somewhere. Number one, never take out all of your money at once. Keep small amounts of money and take out only what you need. Y'all talking about common sense, but I promise you it's not so common and it's apparent many of y'all don't have no sense. Number two, don't keep all of your cash and cards in the same place. When somebody take it, I'm gonna be there in spirit looking at you like this. My mom taught me this. I know when I was six years old, I wanted to take out all my allowance, all $6.30 and like count it all out in front of the cashier at the Dollar Tree. But like, don't take out all your cash at the same time. You don't want people to see you with like a ton of cash, whether you're traveling or not. You're asking to get robbed. Also hide your money in different places. All right, five minute crafts took a little too far, but I mean, they ain't want nobody to get this $100 bill, not even you. Drill the hole in their soap. Put it in their soap. How am I gonna pull this out? I'm probably gonna leave that soap at the hotel and forget about it. Oh, in your comb. This is a good one. So the part attached to the bristles comes out and you can hide your secret stash in there. Genius. Easy one. Take your phone case off. Pop a hundred in there. I think this is probably the most practical. If you got a lot of cash in your house, you can always unscrew the face of your wall outlet. And oh, 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 I got, I got one of those. They broke it right there. Hide your secret stash in there, pop it back on for big ballers only. <laughs> Go Situations when it's best to lie. Like sometimes you gotta lie. That creepy person asking, is it your first time visiting? Literally any Uber I've ever been in. Always say no. Even better if like, no, I live here. If you get into some taxis, they'll ask you this. And if you say no, they'll take an alternate route that's longer and will cost you more money. So if you are ever in a situation where your hands are duct taped together, there is a technique to break out. So you want to raise your hands up and then just like hit your stomach. I know it's going to hurt, but like you could break free in one, two, three. And that's a little better than a stomach achy. Safety tips for when you're traveling alone. It's a lot more common than you think of people trying to break into your hotel room. So hotels usually give you complimentary coffee. So usually they have paper cups, but usually they'll have glass cups in the bathroom. So we're gonna pretend there's a glass cup. Luckily, this hotel room has a hinge. So if somebody tries to open the door, the hinge will stop the door from opening. But if you don't have it, you can put the glass on the handle. And if somebody's trying to break in while you're sleeping, you will hear the glass fall and break before before they get in. Pretty smart. Ladies, listen up. These are some safety tips that could potentially save your life. Number one, if you're in a situation where you feel as if your safety is in danger, someone is grabbing you, they're trying to abduct you, or they're following you, I want you to draw as much attention to yourself as possible. Scream. Bark. Bark. Woof. Nah, but for real, if you are in a situation that you can't get out of yet, go absolutely nuts. I don't know about peeing on yourself. I ain't trying to soil this fit, but like scream at the top of your lungs. You want them to put you down and be like, ugh, I don't want to deal with this one. Again, it seems like common sense, but like it really isn't. Safety tips part two. If you're ever kidnapped and put in the boot or the trunk of a car, try to kick out the tail light, stick your hand through and wave it around because the driver and the passengers of the car that you're in won't be able to see it, but other passing drivers will. Huh, so instead of kicking like the middle, you want to kick the corners of the trunk. Bold of you to assume I am that strong, which I am, but like, yeah, if you kick the corners from the inside of the trunk, that'll knock out the tail light. And the cars behind you, they'll be like, wait, hold up, there is a rabid dog in there or a hostage, and most likely call the police. Hey girl, girl, I was waiting for you in the car. What, oh, who's this? Someone. Talking to her about what? Nothing, just like asking if her toes are long. <laughs> what? Asking her if her well, toes uh, are long? Go. Uh, do I know him though? Um, no. I don't think I'm gonna get to know him, let's go. Like, <laughs> bye! She just snatched her. Saved. If you see somebody in a potentially like dangerous situation, like it doesn't matter if you know them or not. Like she just pretended to know who she was, just snatched her out of there. Maybe saved her life. 
If your lock doesn't work, this is a really easy thing that you could do real quick. I'm making this door bolt that I saw on TikTok out of a metal fork that I broke in half. There's the final product, broke it in half, and bend the teeth. Now let's go put it in the door. So you bend the fork teeth, pop it in the door, and then put the rest of the fork through it. Very important. And it's locked? It ain't gonna open anymore? So if anyone throws an egg at your windshield as you're driving, you should not stop. Because that egg was thrown by car thieves and they're banking on you to stop and pull over. And the second you do, they're going to be there waiting for you. And their goal is to rob you of your belongings and of your car. Okay, this is terrifying, but I've seen videos of this where people will like do anything to make you stop your car so they can rob you and take your car. Nope, I don't care what you throw on my windshield, an egg, some Twizzlers, a chicken sandwich, I ain't stopping. What to do when you park your car? Hide any mailing addresses. So if you have mail in the front seat or something, packages that clearly say your address, hide them or like flip them, put them face down. I thought this was common sense, but apparently common sense is not so common. Hide your change, hide your packages. Also hide your bags. I was just gonna say, I was like, this is already stuff I do all the time. Make sure like nosy people can't be looking in your car. Cause if they see something they like, what's stopping them from like, Mm, busting through a window and be like, yoink. Like, you can never be too careful. Situations when it's best to lie. A repairman asks if anyone else lives with you. Yes, and you're expecting people. Yes, anybody ask me, do you live alone? Are, are your parents home? Yeah, they just left, but they'll be back soon. And uh, my friends are coming over, like, this house is gonna be occupied -o. Nobody robbing me. What to do if someone knocks at your door? If you don't know them, say something. Well then, I'm gonna pretend nobody's home until they leave. <laughs> I'm not trying to have unwanted human interaction from the comfort of my own home. But if you say anything, like hello, whatever, it can prevent a robbery. Burglars, they want an empty house. So they always knock first. And if nobody says anything, they're just gonna assume it's an empty house. An attempt to rob. This happened to my friend. He didn't answer the door and somebody tried to break in while he was there. Scary. Door safety tips. So if you want extra security for your door, you can buy a portable lock. It looks like a giant key. So you put it where the lock goes and then slide the red piece as far as it'll go. This jams the door so it won't open. So it only works on single doors, no double doors, no sliding doors, but like still very useful. I didn't even know this was a thing that you could buy. So if somebody's trying to like bust the door open down, they can't. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.